Hey everybody, this is Jamie. And what this tutorial is going to be about is about jumping through platforms from below them and even falling through them from above them when you press a, a special key. This past week on the forums, there's been two or three questions asked about this subject, and uh, I thought I would cover that in a quick little tutorial. So what I'm starting with is basically I'm starting with my Game Salad Recipe for Advanced Platformer Movement. And I'm going to make a couple edits to that, really simple edits that are going to allow both of those things. So let me show you what I have here to start with. I'm just going to preview this. And I have a purple character with keyboard controls. You can move right and left if you press the space bar. It jumps. Of course, if I hit a wall, it's solid. And these platforms or floors are solid as well. And right now, when I go underneath a platform and jump, you'll see the character would hit its head and drop back down. So one of the things this tutorial is going to do is it's going to change this to allow the platform to almost be transparent or be ignored by the character when he's jumping up and it'll jump through the platform and then land back on top of it. Right now of course I can come this way jump up on there and he lands on it but then he hits his head. So let me show you the rules here and like I said these are the rules from my game salad recipe for advanced platform movement. In the hero we have some behaviors that are given the character gravity. I have some collision set up to collide with walls and floors. And then I do have a self attribute called jumping that gets reset when the character lands on the ground or on a platform. I have my movement rules, which are set up for keyboard commands walking right, walking left, and jumping. Then I have a group of rules that lets you move while you're in the air, and that's where that self-jumping attribute comes into play. In case I didn't show you, when I jump up, I can still move to the left and right. So those are the behaviors we have right now. And if you want some more detail on these, definitely look up that Game Salad Recipe 4, and I give you complete details on setting these up, how to set them up, and why you want to do that. But all we have to do here, if you look in this collisions group, I have this collide with floors set up. And that's where the actor is colliding with the ground. So when I want this character to jump through this platform, basically what I want to do is just turn that collision off while my character is jumping. So remember in Game Salad, Moving in the horizontal direction is the X value, left and right. And moving in the vertical direction is the Y value, up and down. So we're going to want to mess with that Y value. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. I'm going to take this collide with floors, and I'm not going to change it, but I am going to put it inside a rule. So I have that highlighted. I'm going to do Create Rule. So it moved this collide with floors into a rule. So for this rule, I want to check the attribute of the hero's motion linear velocity y, because that's up and down. So I only want you to collide with the floors when you're moving down, not when you're jumping up. So I'm going to say when the attribute self motion linear velocity y is less than or equal to zero because that's moving down the screen in a negative direction, moving up the screen is a positive direction. So when that's less than or equal to zero, check for this collision with the ground. So let's check that out. I should now be able to jump through the platform and it's that easy so let's check this out I can certainly still jump like normal and I land on the ground or the floor platform certainly when I'm dropping but now let's see when I jump up 
I pass through and land on the top. Pass through, land on the top, jump over here, boom. I can drop down, and do it all over again if I want to. Now there was another question on the forum about how to be standing on a platform and, and say press a special key to drop through this platform. So we're going to use the same rule we just set up. We're going to add a second condition to this. The second condition, and I'm going to set this up for the command key. You could set this up, of course, for any key that you want. But I'm going to say when the actor receives event, key, keyboard, command. So when the command key is pressed, I want you to be able to pass through the platform. When you have a keyboard command, you can either have when the key is down or up. Up is obviously not pressed. Down is pressed. So when the command key is down, I don't want you to check for this collision. And that would let the player pass through the platform. So I want to actually check for this condition when the key is up. So as long as the command key is up, it'll check for this condition. Once I press the command key down, it's going to turn this off and let me pass through that platform. So let's check this out. Now I should be able to jump through the platform from the bottom or when I'm standing on the platform if I hold down the command key I should drop through it. So let's walk over here. I'm going to jump through there. I'm going to jump through that one. That's still working. Let me jump over here. I'm going to press the command key and it falls through that platform. And I, of course, let up the command key or let off the command key before I hit the floor or else I'd pass through the floor also. I drop through that one, drop through that one, and I'm back on the floor. So just by editing, when Game Salad checks for this collision with the ground, you can jump through platforms from the bottom or drop through them from the top. So as you can see it's pretty simple. And that's it for that. So have fun making games.